When I first started at RMIT, I, uh, like I had, yeah, I'd been suffering severely from depression. I'd dropped out of a previous university course. I was completely lost, was using alcohol to cope and had finally gotten into this course. And at that point in time, I was afraid of my own shadow. I was, was really struggling with knowing who I was, with uh, knowing what I wanted to do in life. I was worrying about not just the future, but every single day, how I was going to just get through that day. And I felt like I was alone. I felt like I um, had something wrong with me. I didn't, and I didn't know how to get through it. And I, I felt a lot of shame about it. And uh, at this point in time, I hadn't really started speaking out about what I was going through. A lot of the time, they see this facade that you put on. And while that's happening, your mind can just be in turmoil. And I've had that happen so many times and when I was at university that was the case for a huge chunk of the time. When I started at RMIT my worst fear in the world was speaking in front of people. I found out we had to do 20 oral presentations. When I found that out I tried to pull out of the course. You know, I had to confront this thing that was the scariest thing for me and it sort of taught me um, a mindfulness technique I guess because I'd be going up to do these talks and uh, my mind would be telling me Nick you're gonna fail, you're pathetic, you don't deserve to be here what's wrong with you, how come you know you struggle with all of these things and no one else does. Uh, when I started finding out that it actually wasn't unique to me, you know, I'm not special, this is something that affects a lot of people, I found that really liberating because I started to realise, well, okay, you can have more empathy for other people, you can tell yourself that, uh, you know, I'm not, there's not something wrong with me, I'm just, you know, on a different path and a, on my own journey and I'm going to deal with things, you know, one step at a time. Some of the key things that got me through university into graduation uh, were things that I didn't actually realise uh, were helping at the time, but now have become part of what I do every day. Um, number one was uh, using mindfulness, and I learnt that by being thrown in the deep end with these talks, having to confront a fear, having to ignore this story, this script that was in my mind. I applied that to everything else. Every time I had negative thoughts coming in and telling me things that weren't true, I would go back to observing the thought and reminding myself, no, that's just a story. The second most powerful thing for me was exercise. I used to be a professional athlete and I train every day and I just learnt through difficult times uh, that whenever I am having a bad day, if I go for a run, go to the gym, whatever it is, I'll just feel so much better. It'll open up my mind, take me out of the situation. And the third thing would be meditation, which to this day I still do every day as well. Uh, and just taking the time out to be able to just calm your mind, you know, give yourself that period where you can just have permission to not have to try and do anything and just let your mind just slow down a little bit. To a student who is really struggling, doubting themselves, feeling like they're just not gonna make it through at university, my advice would be take it one day at a time, remind yourself that you don't have to have all of the answers, that life doesn't always go according to plan, it's fine, just do what you can right now and, and it's okay to not know, you know where things are gonna go. I think talking about our mental health is the most important thing across the board that we can do because if you talk about it, you realise that it's not this uh, big ugly thing that you should be ashamed of. It, it actually is literally no different than a physical injury. If you break your arm, you go and see the doctor. If you have a problem in your mind, you should go and talk to someone, take the lead, don't wait for someone else to you know, make a change. Go and just talk about it yourself, try and help other people. If we all do that, we'll make an enormous change in this area.